Okay, so today's starter involves two problems that are kind of similar to each other. Uh, here we've, uh, number one, here's what we're given. A, okay, stop it. We got a circuit here. It's got a 12 volt battery. And we, it's connected uh, to a four ohm resistor. And we want to know how much current is this going to push through that four ohm resistor. And then over here on number two, we got the same battery, but now we got a four. It's got the same four ohm resistor, but now we we put another four ohm resistor and another four ohm resistor in parallel with it. Yeah. And I want to know how much current is coming out of uh, the, that battery. Okay, so let's do the first one. And again, hey. Uh, whoever's absent today, Jacob, okay, pause the video and then do the problem as best you can and then unpause it. So pause it now. Okay, but, uh, oh, so boom, you're back. All right, so let's work the problem. Now we have Ohm's law where we said that the resistance of a circuit or a circuit element, or I mean something that's in the circuit is this. It's the voltage I need to get a certain amount of current to flow through it. It's voltage divided by resistance. I'm sorry, voltage divided by current. And so, well, uh, this is my basic equation, but I want to find out what the current is. So one of the things I can do is I can switch these guys. Now, we can go through the algebra. If you multiply both sides by current and then divide both sides by resistance, it's the same thing as just switching the I and the R. So you get the current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. And so this is 12 volts divided by 4 ohms. And that's going to be three amps. Remember that an ohm, an ohm is the same thing as a volt per amp. So the volts would cancel. You had one over one over amps, which is just amps. And then we put a box around our answer. Okay. So this is how I would want you to solve a problem. Like this on the quiz, it should look just like this. Now this one. Uh, is a little bit different. But you'll notice something here, and this is what I want you to understand. If I add 12 volts to the electricity, it's 12 volts all, all along here. I mean, what do we notice about the light bulbs? They experience, each light bulb experienced the, the whole voltage, right? To go from here to here, well, I mean, if, if this is adding 12 volts, then we have to go down by 12 volts from here to here. So, in other words, each resistor experiences the same voltage, and therefore we'll have the same amount of current flowing through it. So I know that I, for this, this guy, is going to be equal to 12 volts, because that's what it's got, divided by 4 ohms. So that's going to be 3 amps. But that's 3 amps through here. Right? 3 amps. You got 3 amps there. And then you're going to have 3 amps through this guy. And then you're going to have 3 amps through this guy. So how much how much current does the battery have to pump out? If I've got 3 here, 3 here and 3 here, What's the total uh, current? The total current is going to be 9 amps. Did you get 9 amps? Did you guys figure that out? OK, so now this is why when we were talking about the uh, circuits that were in parallel, when you, made, when you assembled your parallel circuits, that if you hook up your light bulbs in parallel like this, they would all burn with the same brightness 
and very bright because they were getting all the voltage. They didn't have to share the voltage, but you're going to burn your battery out a lot quicker because now the battery, instead of putting out just, you know, three amps, it has to put out nine amps, three times more because these three currents all have to come from this one wire. This has to put out three, I mean, this has to put nine. So how much current do you think is going to be running through this wire? Right here. I mean, this has got nine, but three go down this way. So how much is left over here? Six amps here. And then three of them go through here. And then through here, you're just going to have three amps. And then they, then, then they, this three amps comes in here. This three amps comes in here. So now I've got six amps flowing through here. And then this three adds to it. So I've got nine amps going through here. And then all nine amps go back into the battery, pick up the energy from the battery, and then go back out into the circuit. OK? This makes sense to everybody. Any questions? OK, that is all.